ما يطلع yeah. هل Good afternoon, ladies. Good. Hello. How is it? Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good, good. So uh, today uh, in our Mompreneur Talk, we have a special guest, our business partner, Soha. Welcome, Soha, and thank you for accepting our invitation. Thank you for so, uh, <laughs> so today, uh, all the talk will be about our business model. Uh, so how will tell us uh, a little bit about her background, uh, from where she is and what she is doing now and how and why she joined this business. And we will talk a little bit about the steps in this business and what this business provide you if you want to join us. So uh, hello again, ladies. Hello, Suha. Hi, how are you, Arine? How are you? Thank you for you? inviting me. Yeah. I'm a big fan of your show, and um, I'm really glad that I am, you know, I'm leaving my mark here uh, on this beautiful uh, panel of, of amazing ladies. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Soha. <laughs> thank you. So uh, tell us about your background. So we know that you are a mom of two. Lebanese living in uh, Canada, but a little bit about what was you doing and what are you doing now? Why you joined this business? Okay, so I uh, I came to Canada 27 years ago, and um, I really was very careful about building my life here in Canada. I wanted to leave my mark, and uh, I start. I thought I thought the best way to do it was to be. Uh, to get to know the Canadian people, to to mingle with the community, the cosmopolitan community of the Canadian uh, 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 fabric. So um, I worked in retail before that, and that helped me to kind of have like a crash course on how to be be a true Canadian. Um, and then I, uh, thanks to my bilingual background uh, in Lebanon, we learn English and French plus Arabic, of course, I worked in customer service. So that really helped me, again, communicate with people uh, throughout the years. I focused more on the medical uh, business to be part, to join the medical industry, because I've always believed that it's not about the money. It's more about when you work and you give your time, uh, you need to believe in, in this kind of the business you're in, the, the job you're doing. So I've always been passionate about connecting with the job that I'm doing and not just do it just for the money, to be in love with it, to connect with the people that I'm working with. Because I, you know, when you spend nine, uh, your time nine to five job and a nine to five job, you are basically, that's your second home. This is, you're spending most of your life at work. Uh, but in the back of my mind, whenever I would go on maternity leave or, um, you know, for other family reasons, I always try to find a home-based business. At that time, it was either, you know, what they call multi-level marketing or any selling from home. Uh, there wasn't, uh, the internet was not as strongly, um, you know, we, we, we just sent email and went on Yahoo or AOL. We didn't do much of uh, online selling or but however there was always the flaw so that's why I just want to focus on because of for the sake of time I want to focus more yeah. on how in the back of my mind I always wanted to do something on the side as a backup plan to support my family especially back home uh, my husband is in the corporate world so he didn't really need me much but I wanted to have a name and to become somebody and help my family back in Lebanon so, however, the businesses that I joined um, were not, you know, nothing is perfect, but they had real flaws that I discovered, let's say, after a year. 
And I'm the type, if I lose passion in something, I drop it I, because I felt I don't, it's not my kind of, my cup of tea. I don't want to run after my friends or ask them to join or buy from me every month. And if they don't buy, I will lose the commission and, or I, I have to make money. I have to buy every month. So I didn't like, it's not part of my, it's not who I am. So I, I used to stop it and focus on my work. Uh, I don't want to. I don't know how much time I have, but uh, later on, if you want me, I can tell you the difference between what I love about what we do right now, and how, you know, I I read something today. I was telling uh, Am Amal uh, mm -hmm. that strength. Uh, I mean, uh, wisdom is better than strength. And I was like, okay. very interesting, right? very interesting concept. Yes, yes. For sure. yes. So I try, I always, whenever I read something, I try to basically layer it over the business we're doing and see how it reflects, how we can, you know, apply it. And for me, I, I, to me, I thought strength is more about us being young. When we're young, we're strong. We're like fa passionate. We don't think we just go yeah. make, it, make a decision and boof get it done, and then later on deal with the consequences. We jump, right? we jump <laughs> faster, yes. So mm -hmm. today, if I want to talk about something, I want to talk about this because that will answer why this business is really wisdom better than strength. Um, so I, I jumped into these businesses. I wasted a lot of money. I learned a lot, but it was not um, satisfying, actually. I, I really felt disappointed with myself at that time when I was in my 20s and 30s because I was like you know I have it why don't I have it but you know this business later on realized it doesn't fit my lifestyle you know it doesn't fit my conviction and what I believe in and this is with time you become more wiser that's why when we see older people sitting with us and we're talking and and, and they're just looking at us and nodding their head and we'll be like you know, they, they're wise. They don't want to talk. There's like, mm -hmm. let them be. Uh, been there, done that. If they don't want to listen to me, I'm not going to waste my energy. Yeah. The wisdom here in our business is that what I learned from previous businesses is that I was wearing too many hats, too many hats, which set me to fail. Yeah. So I had to have to hire companies and people to promote me as a person. Or I had to be, I don't know, I don't want to say anything, but I had to have a certain personality or certain look or whatever to just to stand out. And that wasn't me. The wisdom comes is in, in this business. Why? Because it has all the tools. It, they built, it's like I'm joining a business that, that has already all the departments. This is yes. where wisdom is. It's good to multitask, but you don't want to wear too many hats because nowadays it's very hard to to deal with so many responsibilities, especially on social media. Mm -hmm. So I find with our business is that when we join, they set us to succeed. Everything is tested, uh, proven, tested and then proven. Mm -hmm. So yes, we have the, the know-how people for every department, whether it is technical support or the training that we have to basically may help us start successfully in our business, okay? Uh, especially in a world wide web, in social media, every day something changes, whether it's Facebook or YouTube, we're always learning something new. And the community support that we have. Mm -hmm. so it helps us maintain a positive mindset and basically focus on growing our business online. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing that I learned is that to be extremely patient and not to expect to change things overnight. Mm. Yeah. I have a question, Saha. Yeah. So did you find it hard to uh, be the, the corporate professional and the entrepreneur in one person? Because, yeah. because for, for me, when I, I, I do this full time, I don't have uh, another, I left the corporate world. Mm -hmm. I, it was a shift and I, I had to shift a lot of things for me to um, understand and really um, go with the entrepreneurship mindset. So yeah. when you're doing it both, so you basically, how, how, do you, how do you juggle that? How do you manage that? And uh, this is this is 
where the wisdom comes is that I chose a business that does the bulk of the work for me. All mm -hmm. what I have to, to do is to be present and be consistent. And if I have to take a break, it's okay to take a break. So I learned to be merciful to myself before I was even harder on myself. If I have to take a step back, I take a step back, but I'm focused on this business. I just, uh, you know, I have about 4,000 followers on Facebook. Okay, not all of them are, you know, connected, but they follow my page. Uh, I, I know that to get there, it wasn't easy, right? Now, doing the corporate business, work, being in the corporate world and working, doing this on the side, the crevices of my time, it doesn't take much time as long as you are organized and consistent. It's okay. what moms do too, right? Exactly. Think about it. As moms, we yeah. do so much. Uh, when when we decide to do something for ourselves, because this business at the end of the day is something that you are building mm -hmm. for yourself, yeah. and then eventually in the future you can pass it on to your kids. That's true. Where you build it. They don't have to build from scratch anymore. The way uh, you bring that, it, they can take it on. So, yeah, this is awesome what you shared with uh, us. Uh, and I want to say one thing from a psychological standpoint, this business makes me a better person because I know that I'm building something for myself on the side, not working, not, and I don't have to take time from my work for a corporate job to, because again, I have ethics, I have values. I'm not going to be like working on my business while I am doing my job. Okay. So um, I can do it on the weekend. I can plan my time. I can plan posts. I can plan. So it, it's not uh, stressful. Again, just because they set us up to succeed in this business and not to fail because of all this built-in uh, tools that they offer. So we're not lost souls. We are you know, we're focusing more on connecting and helping others to succeed. And, you know, like we all do, you guys are amazing. Like to be to be able to be consistent with this amazing show, too, um, and, and supporting people, your team and everything to, to build their business. Yeah. This is this is why we are mentors and some of us are coaches. So, yeah. Yeah, it takes commitment like it takes you have to be committed to it. And uh, when I first joined, I remember my coach said, whatever you put in you get out of this that's true and you're never losing anything you're not going to lose anything because as you said if you decide to take a break if because life happened to all of us like yeah. things happen you're not when you decide to come back you're not starting from scratch you take I, it where you left it i don't know if it happens with you too but i another thing that i was in a very like my cat is fighting with my drapes right now anyway so uh <laughs> so i was in a very uh you know transitioning from one stage to another and i felt like i'm overwhelmed you know this summer it was fun to see my family in istanbul furnishing my apartment um i had to do other things so i was like one thing after the other i was able to plan it and not to worry about the business mm -hmm. but at, uh, because it was running on its own in the you know in the background um, but I found, I learned something new is that, um, I, when you love somebody, set them free. Yes. True. When you love your business, don't obsess about it, set it mm -hmm. free. When you want something, don't obsess about it, set it free. Just believe that you're going to get it. This whole mindset that we always talk about, you know, the, the believing that you will get it, pray for it, um, just put positive energy around it and it, it will come in a surprising form, whatever it is. But I this has been proven in the last month to me. I was obsessing about something and then one day it kind of clicked. And, you know, mm -hmm. talking to you ladies is always, you know, we, we're here to support each other. Yes. So just vocalizing it sometimes, it really helped me. It's like, why am I fighting something that I can't have control over? I want it. I love it. I'm not going to run after it. I'm here and I want it badly. So you're going to come to me. I'm not going to go after you. Yes. You know, you did. Yes. I did what I did. And, you know, thank thank God it's everything fell into place. You know, it's that's a, a lesson I learned as well. Yeah. <laughs> that was part of the mindset that I needed to shift from the corporate yeah. to entrepreneur and do your best, do your best and just pray. And yeah. it will happen. What's yours that will come back to you? Oh. 
Yeah. Yes. Celine, do you have any question? You remind me about uh, when you say that set it set it free. So uh, when I was in the vacation in the summer, so I really set it free, and I get the best results in the summer because mm -hmm. I didn't expect this. I was busy with uh, enjoying my time with my kids and my family, and mm -hmm. I was getting results, getting results, and this make me give me more power and make me more motivated to to do more. But when you put your, your mind in something that I want this, I want this, I want this. Yeah. So you will be because... like, yeah, it will yeah. control you. Like you, you feel like you are in the jail. So set your, You're set holding your mind. It. Yeah, you, that's it. you are holding the, the blessing coming to you. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. You're, uh, you're forcing it. Uh, the other thing that I believe in is that sometimes you think this is the best for you but there is maybe something that's much bigger than what you're expecting. So it's okay that sometimes you don't get what you want. Skip, keep staying positive and believing that there's something much better for you. So when yeah. you, you want something or you pray for something, always say that uh, like if this is what you want or something better, because there's always going to be the, the right thing for you. So um yeah, that, that's what I, we, and we were referring to, uh, like for me, I always refer to the business as my baby, as some uh, refer to it as a seed that you're planting. So like Amal was saying and Soha was saying, you're, you have a time and during the day where you, you give to your kids, to your, so if this is one of your kids, one of your baby, you will find some time to give to, to that business. Uh, but like everybody's saying, uh, you don't need to stress about it. You don't need to take it as a job. Be remember, yeah, it's, business, it's not a job. And that's where we have to do that shift where we're not an employee, we're a business owner. So it could be that today I give it my 200% and tomorrow I shut it down. So mm -hmm. it's there's nobody standing on top of your head and telling you, oh, you're not doing a great job. You, you have to push yourself more. You If you don't work overtime, you won't get this or you won't get that. It's a business. It's not a job. And that's that was hard for me at the beginning to switch. And that's what Amal was referring to, where how is it that you go from an employee to a business owner? Uh, it still happens today, too, sometimes, where I'm, like, stressing myself. And, and then I'm like, oh, whoa, wait, wait. It's not a job. It's a business. Yeah. I find this business helped us um, shift even the way we think. And more mature, more 100%. responsible, more confident. Like I find I'm more, even when I was, you know, like if I talk to my manager, I think I'm more confident. I'm more, I grew into a better person, more mm -hmm. like a leadership role, you know? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I don't, and, and even in the businesses, whatever you do, like, <laughs> so, so you become someone who is so ready there's something uh one time i'm sure you know about that before you drive a ferrari you have to be worthy of it i don't know someone said that before yeah so before we become you know make six figures income or anything we have to grow into that position to earn it to be able to you know to, yeah. to, to be to fit into this you know what i mean into this, uh, this so so it's all about growth and a journey and uh it's and let's enjoy you know what i just clicked to how you said something yeah. that really resonated yeah. i always wanted to have a position of a leader in my in my work in my full time yeah. job um and it was like forcing it like i always wanted it yeah. And now I just clicked this year. I got a, a promotion and I got a leadership uh, position in in, the, in, the, in my work. Yeah. And it is true that this business it brings you to another level, teaches you things that will be also beneficial for you outside of the business. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing that it just like you know what yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Because I let it go and I'm focusing there and I learn and, and the mindset and all these shifts that we're going through made you, make, makes you more confident and you can manifest and do things outside of your business that are amazing. Uh, I mean, so I have you with us. Uh, 
I want to add something before we finish. Uh, when you said that you can take a break from this business. So um, what I love in this business is that if you decided to take a, a break from it, it's not like different businesses or a traditional businesses that you have to, to worry about payments or workers mm -hmm. or the place uh, a mortgage or anything. If you want to take a break, it's a break. You don't have any payments. You can take a break for one week that today I want to uh, relax or uh, think about a different strategy strategy and then you don't have to pay anything you don't have for, uh, mm -hmm. no out outcome and i always say no you don't have to pay you don't have to uh, uh, focus on how you will get the money or and when you want to come back you will start from you were left so uh, this is a big uh, difference between the online business and the traditional business also mm -hmm. that in the traditional business you have all the time to be worried about the blaze the payments the the bills the the workers and everything but in this business you don't have to worry about anything from all of this it's all about you and all about uh, uh, your business and your mindset and your uh, growth and uh, this what this is something that i wanted to add and i want to Add something that today is Thursday and we have our info session at 8 p.m. If you want to know more about this business, you can go and uh, register in one of our websites. All the ladies here in mine and you will get the link through the email. Uh, it's a free. It's 90 minutes, but this 90 minutes will change your life. So uh, take the action and it's worth a uh, check, I think. Yeah. It changed our lives, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, thousands of people, spent of thousands of people's lives. So 100,000 people in our community. Yeah. is amazing. I didn't want to brag, so Amalia. <laughs> yeah, we have to. Like, we have to. When, when I joined a year back, was half that number. Yeah, yes. well, it, went, it was around 45, I think. Yeah. The amount joined. Yeah. Yeah. We joined around the same in time. One yeah. year. We see the potential yeah. of that That's world. And how, see how many people yeah. are trying to move into the digital world and they're mm -hmm. trying to find options and solutions yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. exactly okay thank you everyone for thank this you. lovely thank chat you. thank Wish you so you much all the best. thank you so much thank for you. coming and sharing your wisdom with us today <laughs> and uh, wish you all a good afternoon thank and you. see you next week okay bye, bye. bye.